Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese. As always, got another tips video for you today. Uh, we're, you know, in another gameplay. Like I said, most of my videos from here on out are going to be gameplay related. A lot of the practice mode stuff was just while I was finishing my ebooks, which most of them are out now. Not all. I mean, most of them are done, but I'm rolling them out a couple at a time. Uh, so I got about three of them on my site right now. Uh, link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But ultimately, I don't have to spend as much time doing that, so I can spend more time uh, making these gameplays fun and uh, you know doing all the extra editing. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'll still probably do a practice mode video like once or twice a week for people that prefer that, uh, that learn easier that way. But like I said, it's gameplay going forward. So starting off on offense, I'm using the Ravens playbook. And pretty much every series you see is going to be something that I put out, like this power eye uh, formation I've just put out. Um, I start off kind of slow in the game, which is kind of typical of me. I, for some reason, I'm a, st I'm a slow starter, so first run doesn't really work out. Uh, next series, I'm going to go to the Heisman pl uh, formation, which I also just put out. I think that was my Saturday video. Uh, this one here has become like one of my favorite goal line plays. I mean, it's such a good uh, short yardage play. Now, it's third and nine. Probably wasn't the best call. It came out in the pass play anyway, uh, but then when I saw that there was a little bit of spacing inside, I thought, ah, maybe I can get it on the ground. Because when you're using the Ravens playbook, it's a nope. run, 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 run playbook. Uh, so next play, I come out, it's fourth and four, I'm going to go for it. I see my A route is uncovered. You always have to look for spacing like this uh, pre-snap. If you're making a read and you see that there's there's nobody on one of your uh, receivers, that's pretty much the place you want to go. Now, I hear it's a cover two, so I put him in a flat so that the, uh, the, the B route can get open over top of it. Um, um, so, like I said, I don't necessarily use it, but I use it to my advantage either way. So, next play, RPOs this year are, in my opinion, a majority of them are overpowered. So, for some reason, RPO just, like, it just does something to the defensive side of the ball uh, when it comes to the run play. Just like they don't really react in full force to the run. Like, right here, you can see huge lane. I don't think that that should be the case. But when I was doing all my labbing, I couldn't help but notice like the majority of RPO runs are just really consistent, really explosive, and I think that's something that they tweaked this year. So next play, I'm going to hit them with a uh, triple option, uh, which is also something that I like. Uh, you know, I run into a wall. Uh, I mean, I, I I didn't put a running back. Typically, you want to put a running back there, but I thought with Darren Waller, he'd be fast enough. And then on the next play, I get a penalty. So I actually get two penalties in a row um, trying to diagnose the D. So on third and 19, I just want to guarantee this field goal at this point. So we do a little uh, playmaking to make this a bigger play. Because to be honest, if I didn't playmaker him up, he would have been out of bounds way, you know, like five, six, seven more yards short. So playmaking is something that even my opponent uses against me in this game and has a lot of success. Playmaker is real easy. You just use the right stick and it's going to control the closest receiver. So you just flick in the direction you want him to run. I want him to run up. I hit the up button on the right stick. Boom, we get a big play. So on the defensive side, second and eight, uh, you got to have more speed than this. I mean, Kiko Alonso here, he's like a 76 speed linebacker. I mean, he was just running in molasses uh, while Derrick Henry crossed his face um, he's gonna hit me with a lot of runs uh, I guess he's got Lamar Jackson too pretty much everybody has Lamar Jackson in this game uh, so I'm gonna go over some defensive tips on how to stop him a little bit later but for the most part right now I'm just hitting him with that basic cover two uh, concept that I put out that I still feel is the best in the game and on the very next play, we get a, a nice user pick because gotcha, we had, you know, perfect position. I mean, that defense, everybody's pretty much double team. So next play, we're going with the power O. This is not something that I've put out so far. I mean, all I really do, I flip the play based off the fact there's so much blocking to the right. Your opponent typically has to respect that. And he starts off way out of position on the right side, expecting the run to go over there. And there's nothing with space. Then we're going to hit it with, uh, I mean, the fullback dive from this exact same formation. I mean, there's so many good schemes from this playbook. This time, the fullback dive works out really well as Darren Waller's speed uh, gets me another 10-yard run. Like I've said before, in my opinion, this is the best running playbook in the game. I'm not even much of a runner. I'm more of a passer. Um, but I enjoy using this playbook because the run concepts are awesome. They're really fun. So next play, third and seven. We're going to hit him up with a high-low concept. I got my B route. I got my A route trying to pull coverage. Uh, sure enough, I forgot to block the running back. But he's going to drop down. And the second he does, using that playmaker button once again, safe catching on the sideline. Really important. Never would have had anything there if I didn't make that safe catch. And then I'm going to go with that Heisman play one more time. Time. So I go with the shovel options. You can see I have a lot of space pre-snap. The second the ball is hiked, though, 
two guys break off the line and that's what i love about this play so i hit him with the pitch and then right after that lamar jackson goes and blocks the user so lamar jackson accounts for three defenders he essentially blocks or gets in the way of three different defenders and that is just a super easy touchdown so back on the defensive side with about a minute left up 10 nothing Still using that cover two defense. It's a completely shut down pass defense. All I'm doing is putting a defensive end in a flat, and that's pretty much it. I mean, a curl flat in this case because, you know, I think that's actually a better defense. You can see here, I mean, it does a pretty good job of stopping the run, even with this setup. All I'm really doing to set this defense up is pretty simple. I'm putting one of the defensive ends in a flat in the direction that either has the most receivers or the most space on that side of the field. In this instance, it's both, so it's really simple, but sometimes you'll have to make that decision based off of your opponent's tendencies. But this defense works really well. You'll see throughout the game, I mean, a lot of times, like half my team, half the, the, the receivers on the field are double teamed. That right there, I probably should have stuck with the drag, but ultimately I, I moved on to the next crossing receiver. It happens. That's probably one of the best ways to beat it. Very next play, I switch it up and go with a cover two invert because I'm expecting run. I play too far down the box, and by the time I get back, I mean, this guy, that was my area. I should have been covering that. I was almost there for a pick, but just off enough that he makes a big play. So I, I, sh I probably should have stuck with that cover two. Never would have happened against the cover two. But even though that was my fault and I'm giving up a touchdown because of it, ultimately zones are not very good. As you'll see throughout this gameplay, you really have to be using man coverages, which I think most people have figured out by now. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a quick one play touchdown against cover three and cover four, though. The PA wide receiver fork. I get the ball back with eight seconds, but there's a touchdown to be had here if I just had a little bit more speed. As you can see, this X route here crosses, gets behind the cover four that my opponent was running. Just like I said, not a good enough receiver, not enough speed to make that play happen. So second half, all of a sudden, it's a tight game uh, my opponent's gonna hit me with that read option one more time and the defense does a pretty nope. good job of snuffing that out um, I didn't even really have to do anything there the cornerback just made the play so second and ten uh, I mean I'm not really I'm not gonna leave this cover too now as you'll see nothing's really open I mean any gaps have to be user the drag a user uh, both drags then I try to switch over to get the sack he hits me with a playmaker nope. and it's a huge play I mean if I would have stayed in coverage he probably would have threw it away but I just I wanted to get that sack I wanted to get that big loss and I got greedy it, it bites me in the ass next play and next tip one of the reasons that i run this zone to the outside uh, the larger side of the field is because it's also used to, to contain the quarterback if he takes off in that direction you just have to hit the right click button which is the uh the right stick just push that in and it'll send the closest defender to the quarterback as you see right there it does a really good job of shutting that down you definitely need things like that to stop lamar so on third and seven once again speed is my achilles heel so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to take out kiko alonzo entirely i'm going to come out in a uh in a speed package we're gonna come out in the one four six i'm tired of getting beat by uh you know slow players because my dude is super slow and sure enough i mean look at this he hits me with another run the backside cornerback makes the play so we're gonna finish this drive with this formation we're gonna hit with the cover two version this is another scheme that uh, i put out last year that still has a lot of success um, as you can see i almost get the pick right there uh, but i was using a defensive end and bosa and he just didn't have the hands so then on the last play we hit with the cross three fire this is another one on the third and long all I have to do is zone all the linebackers in the middle is going to be clogged up. No passing lanes, but sure enough, he hits me with a screen. And since all the coverage is in the middle, not a lot's going to do to a screen. So that was definitely a good call. Then on fourth and three, he's going to go for it. Hits me with a run. And I just, you know, Derrick Henry is hard to stop when there's only a couple yards between him and the first. Next play, I decided to mix it up and hit him with something different. He's seen nothing but man coverages. So I hit him with an off covered zone. And basically, I guess he thought it was a man because the second he thought he had that guy beat, gotcha, bitch. he throws a right interception right to my linebacker, who for some reason is fast enough to not only beat Lamar Jackson in a foot race, uh, maybe Lamar Jackson was tired. You can see he doesn't quite have the, the energy. <laughs> Uh, but he doesn't he doesn't just beat him in a one-on-one -on -one. He, he passes him where's the hustle there lamar uh so then the next series of play justin smith absolutely goes off this guy right here in my opinion is one of the best uh defensive ends in the game right now if you can get this card on the next play he's getting double teamed just gets right Break through it and gets a sack i mean that's two plays in a row that he's just wreaking havoc in the backfield so if you if you want a good player if you want a good defensive end that gets pressure justin smith i noticed does a really good job of that so third and 20 we're hitting him with uh, uh you know cover two one more time and then he throws it up gotcha, but i guess he's desperate it's fourth quarter and we're getting another pick so richard sherman's coming back with it you know this is just about game over so i'll show you guys one more scheme the halfback inside zone out of the single wing pair i think it's also known as the ace pair is a really good run play especially when there's i mean this formation is just 
just you know typically forces a defensive shift that they might not necessarily want where it gives you space to the outside here and then the second best play out of this what i'm gonna hit him with the going the opposite direction is a stretch alert looky like i said these these rpos are really good plays and on the very next play i mean that dude blocked two guys make the make the safety miss and we're scoring a touchdown so that's pretty much going to ice the game uh but my, like i said my opponent doesn't give up so we're going to go we're going to go for two because we did miss a field goal earlier an extra point earlier and we just hit him with a really simple inside zone i love work done man he's such a good running back same way i say you should get justice smith on defense work done on offense is a is a playmaker so on the next series uh we're just going to hit him with that cover two again you can see here everything's shut down i mean this cover two mix is one of the hardest defenses in the game to pass against you're not going to pass on it so next play man i can just show you how how much this just double teams everything see right here this both receivers are double teamed off the line uh i'm basically double teaming every receiver i want over the middle and then sure enough over the top <laughs> double team we have everybody's double teamed like i said this is just if you if you don't if you haven't figured this out yet if you're not running this defense yet you don't know what you're missing next play though i don't know what happens here my cornerback just gets roasted off the line and i don't like i said i have no idea if that's a route that's des that designed that way or what happened or what he what he did i have no idea but he finally finds a way to beat it i gotta figure that out because it is really hard to make big plays against cover two and he just figured one out so he tries to go for the onside doesn't work which gives me enough time to show you guys one more tip a really good cover four quarters beater called the pa deep outs um, whenever you see safety spread like this it's either an all-out man blitz or cover four quarters which is exactly what it is all you got to do is put the a right here on a comeback and you're going to see how this y route is going to beast this even though i have george kittle running that route which typically i want more speed it just gets behind the defense you can see right here we're just going to float it up Hit him with a walk-off home run, and that's it. That's all she wrote. So he's going to go. He's going to pull the cord. I mean, there's no real reason to keep playing. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.